Guys, today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about why I designed my new SMH head. This is the one I actually been using, but why I designed my new SMH head without a screw lock. A lot of people like uh, they like these kind of jig heads without the screw lock or with the screw lock. I'm sorry, because it looks real nice and neat. You know, you kind of put it on here, and it, and it does look a lot better with the screw lock. But I'm gonna tell you why you probably should not be using a screw lock on your shaky heads. And it, and it doesn't mean that you're, uh, actually, this is why it works better for me. Let, me. let me say it that way. You know, you screw it, you put a shaky head like that, this is just a round one. I had a hard time finding one because I stopped using the screw lock shaky heads a long time ago. Man, that thing just lines up all nice and perfect. Look at it, boy, she looks like a freaking jar of peanut butter jelly on a hot day, right? I guess you don't get the peanut butter and the jelly in the jar. But that looks that looks really cool, right? Well, I didn't design mine with a screw lock. Mine just has a wire keeper on the back side of it. That's by design. In my opinion, you get far worse hookups with this design, the screw lock style shaky head and tell you why number one this right here the the actual screw part of it all it's doing is that's just one more thing in front of the hook point and you're creating basically a, a brush guard for your hook point with that with that screw lock and even though it holds your plastic on there what it does is it it you you want that to slide down some you actually want that when you set the hook you need that plastic to get out of the way. And with that screw lock, because it stays on there so good, look, the hook point won't even come through. I'm, I'm tugging on this worm and the hook point is not coming through. If you rig up mine, let me get a plastic here. If you rig up, if you rig up my jig head, this plastic works really good on the hula stick, by the way. I made it for bigger shaky heads, six and seven inch, um, you know, five, six, seven inch baits but like a six inch hula stick, hula stick, this bait, this shaky head is a perfect size hook for that. Big TRD, four to six inch baits, even seven inch baits, it's, it's about seven inches of pulling it, pushing it, but six inch baits, it works really good. Now when you pull mine, see how the hook point just pop right through? You see that? On this one, you can pull all you want. The hook point never comes through, look. Break the worm, that's not a last tick, right? Like I had to break the worm on that one. But if you take my jig head, and all it boils down to is the bite. I got more bite, you see that? See the hook point pop right through? That's why you don't wanna use a screw lock shaky head. Just you, you have less bite, you're killing the bite between, the bite is basically the gap between the shaft of the hook and the hook point. You got more bite this way. You get better hook penetration. Yeah, it might hang up a little bit more, but especially in the case, which is most of the time the case where if you're using a light line, lighter rod, um, you need the hook penetration becomes a big deal, especially on long casts. You know, a lot of times you're trying to, in the springtime, I'll try to get that bait as far as I can away from the boat. And when I do that, I'm sacrificing a little bit of my hook setting power so getting that hook to, to pop through the head really good is very, very important. One thing that I will do with um, when I'm not using a, a screw lock like this. Now the wire keeper, you can see it keeps it pretty daggum good. Even, you know, there's just, just a straight up wire keeper that's on the bait. A lot of times what I will do, and this is why the back side of the head is flat like the way it is, is I'll put just a little bit of super glue in there and then I'll just push it up on there just like that. I'll put a little bit of super glue in between, like right there, right there in his little, right around his neck, right around there where it stank on a summer day. You know, like when you smell a baby, you smell their neck and it's got that little funky, funky smell. I'll put a little bit right there and I'll slide it right up on there and I'll just hold it for about five seconds. All right. And then that's it. You can do that. Perfectly good bait. You can really rig it weedless. This is SMH just on a net rig bait, uh, um, just a regular hula stick. I designed a worm for it. That's called the SMH worms. That's gonna be that it's, we designed it specifically for this jig head. 
I'll show you that in tomorrow's video, so make sure you guys hang around. But that's why I did not go with the screw lock. It was specifically because of hookup ratio all alone. With Elastec, I'm not worried about my plastics breaking. One of the reasons that you had a screw lock is if you had a traditional shaky head and you tried to rig it up on the jig head, you know how it would always come down and be sliding down. You go to make a forceful cast and it was doing all kind of funky stuff. But what I found out is that this really works against you. Always, always, always. Maybe you can get away with it if you're using like a bait caster, but for the most part, the regular old good booty just a straight shank jig head more gap between the shank and the hook point better hookup ratio you don't have to worry about setting the hook throwing out there setting the hook and reeling him five times and he comes off if you're having that happening i guarantee you you're probably using the screw lock and it doesn't mean you're gonna miss all the fish because somebody's gonna say i've been using screw locks for 10 years be latin i've called many four five and ten pounders on them good for you reggie i'm just saying every once in a while your hookup ratio instead of it being 80 percent 95 percent with a screw lock you might be you know 69 percent i grabbed that out of the air nasty people 72 percent okay so that's why you see the normal keeper on the new SMH head and not a screw lock. All right. Got that? It's for the people that's been asking why I wasn't a screw lock. All right. Tomorrow I'll show you guys the plastic that we uh, designed specifically around this new jig head. And don't forget, do not forget, if you're going to the classic this week, here in Greenville, South Carolina, if you're going to the expo, I'll be the only people that will have this jig head at the expo besides Z-Man themselves, and you cannot purchase it from Z-Man, will be the Carl's Bait and Tackle booth at the Bassmaster Classic. I personally will be at the Carl's Bait and Tackle booth tomorrow, Saturday, well, Saturday, from 11 to 1. The first 100 people that come to the booth at Carl's Bait and Tackle, they're gonna be giving away 100 packs of the new SMH. They come in three different sizes. They come in one eighth, three sixteenth, and quarter ounce. That's the only three sizes I really use. There's only three ounces, three sizes that I decided to come up with. That's the ones I use the most. So um see you guys at the classic. Looking forward to seeing how you guys like to fish this bait and seeing some of your big old bass that you're catching on the new SMH. Alright? See y'all this weekend at the Bassmaster Classic.